Yeah, we were uh, running one of our lathes this the other day, and uh, somebody had mentioned something about it, and they were surprised that it had a clutch, that you could start the machine up, and the clutches do slip a little bit sometimes. Like, like this one, you can give it a little bit, pull a little bit the other way. You can position it with the clutch. It's a break in the middle. Way, way back, if we go back into the 1800s and we had this lathe, what you would have had is you would have had your lathe, maybe some gears that you could change, and you would have had a flat belt of leather. And your clutch on that machine, if it was really basic, was a stick. You just knock the clutch, knock the uh, belt off of the pulley. Uh, some of them would have ways to loosen or tighten the pulley, but that was pretty fancy. The normal one was just a stick so that you'd knock the belt off. When they started getting into uh, horizontal mills, and I don't have one that I can show you, but um, I did have one here before. I had a Kearney and Trekker, you can see. On this one, we just looked back there a second ago behind the motor, and there was no clutch that we could see. This arm engages the clutch on this one. And it's kind of the same thing again. You have a clutch, you have a motor. And this one is not plugged in, apparently. <laughs> okay, there's the cord. Uh, yeah, surface grinder, that's the one that's normally not plugged in. We don't use it as much. Okay, so start this, and we can see the same thing. This one also has a brake. We have a clutch. And we can start it up, move it a little bit, position it. And besides, now this, these were the first machines that I know of that they really started putting clutches in the machine. And the original ones, you had an over-center clutch that actually you could see it at the back of the machine and a flat belt coming off of it. And then even when they had motors, they just kept having clutches on them, even though you didn't really need it. On bigger machines, you also need it because the motor takes too much power to start if it's turning the machine. And it's nice to be able to control the machine starting up slowly. A lot of newer machines even if they're medium size or like your CNC's, clutches are not really needed so much anymore because you have inverter drives. You either have a, uh, you have uh, servo drives for your spindles on your CNC's and you have inverter drives so that you can start them up easily without any uh, big distress, like little drill press over here. We can actually turn it on and we can bring it down right to where it stops and then just barely start it up. We can control it. I can jog it. You can add a jog on button. So you can do a lot of stuff electronically that before took a clutch. Um, your cheap machines, uh, small machines, it's common that they don't have clutches, didn't have clutches. Now this machine here, and you'll see this, um, this is a really interesting example, but it's not what it was, because this originally had, this is a Hydrotrol, except it's not a Hydrotrol anymore. And this one had a series of clutches to engage off of the main shaft, different clutches that engaged different gears, hydraulically. And in fact, I can't, couldn't find the information, but the man that was working with Hydrotrol that originally did this transmission for the uh, lathes, I don't remember if he got called on to help Hydromatic or if he was part of the original engineering crew, but they came out with, this came out first. And some of what they discovered by putting these on lathes was used in the original hydromatic transmissions that General Motors came out with for Cadillac and Oldsmobile in 1936. So, um, yeah, clutches go a ways back on uh, machine tools. And it's nice to have the clutch that's forward and reverse. Now this one here, we did away with the clutches. We're doing one speed. We're gonna have it set up with an inverter so that uh, we can do just like we had with the drill press. We might have a jog button on it too. Um, 
but it'll, it'll have good enough control that it's not worth fussing with the clutches at this point. We have other methods today. But clutches are, are a thing on machines. Uh, we have clutches on, again, on our, uh, we got them on a lot of our machines. <clears throat> we got clutch on this one too, on our uh, boring mill. I guess we just go through here as far as talking about clutches. What does have clutches? What do we have? This one here has clutches. They're manual. There's a lock out there. This allows you to go one way. You turn this over and the clutch will go the other way or you leave it in the middle and you can go forward or reverse both. So it's kind of a manual lockout mechanism they've got there. Drill press. Have a spindle on it. You have forward reverse for uh, rotation. Also on a lot of this stuff, you see me, what I was just doing, positioning a little bit. Well, you don't run the machine that way. You can position it, but when you kick it in gear, it should have a snap. It should actually go into gear so that it over centers and it applies hard pressure to the clutch so they don't slip. And while you can move the spindle by just touching it, you don't want to ever run it by just touching it. You'll burn up the clutches. Um, this one here has clutches. They are hydraulically actuated. And so it comes on and then we can turn the clutches on electrically. But uh, it's hydraulics that actuates them. Um, this one is the same as the one back there with manual linkage clutches. A lot of, and in fact, uh, the lathe I had was the one we were throwing chuck keys with. The one we were throwing chuck keys with is the same basic casting set as these except they changed the headstock inside a little bit. They put in some lighter gears and they actuated the clutches electrically instead of with a lever. And so it was a little bit wacky for what it did. Not really controllable, but it was like they didn't want to do without the clutches, but they didn't really want them to work as clutches because they just turn on. They don't, uh, they don't have any kind of easy engagement to them. This one has clutches in it, and as near as I could tell from the drawings, I've never had them apart, they look to be magnetic particle clutches, which are kind of a nightmare when they go bad. Uh, hopefully they don't go bad. And what they do is they have two surfaces with magnetic abrasive particles that suck in between the two surfaces and make them connect with all of these little particles pulled in between them and then the magnetism drops out and all the powder drops away from it. Um, the only ones I've actually worked on were just plain worn out and didn't work. So I don't have a lot of good feelings about them. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go bad. If it does, we will probably replace the clutch that's in here. Instead of with a different style clutch, I'll probably replace it with a solid piece of metal and then put an inverter drive on the motor. So that's what I would most likely do if it uh, clutch goes bad. The saw does not have clutches. The CNC lathe, no clutches, no clutches there. We were in the other room, but were there other clutches? That one does not, does not, does not, does not. They did a lot of shops where clutches were everywhere. And were, most shops I've been in, uh, nah, I guess about half of them, only about half of them, even going back a few years ago, maybe even less than half now because things have changed. Yeah, still had at least some machine that was flat belt drive. We got some outside, we've showed some in other videos, but we don't have any, any flat belt drive stuff that we're using in here. So, but that's, that's where the clutches really start from was flat belt drive where you had a line shaft and the power was going to turn. You had no way to turn it off. So the clutch was really, really important th at that time. And uh, the neatest thing that I worked with that was flat belt drive was an old, uh, it was a two or 300 ton. I don't remember now for sure if it was 200 or 300 ton. I think it was 200. Anyway, it was big straightening press, eight foot table out of the railroad yards and it had this big, Big pulley, originally was driven with a steam engine. We had a 10 horse electric motor on it and uh, it was slow. We updated it with, with other hydraulics later and made a whole nother thing out of it. But, um, but it was kind of a neat old press anyway. 
And uh, yeah, clutches. They are part of the machine tools at one time, not so much now on uh, newer things.